sense of reverence to do the service brings us back to the ultimate respect we owe to pay to the contract God has made with us. So um, we read today verses from the end of Deuteronomy 32 and from which talks which talk about God vengeance and reinstatement of his people we've compared it with Revelation 11 where Yeshua at the end of time comes to accomplish this word of Deuteronomy 32 and for Dvar Torah, a word on the parasha, which is Azinu, not Shofti. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I wanted to read a devotional that I felt inspired to do for Yom Kippur, because this day of God's vengeance, God issues with it, is said to be Yom Kippur. In Matthew 24, 31, it says, I will send out, he will send out his angels. With a loud trumpet call, they will gather his elect from the four winds, from one end of the heavens to the other. And referring to Yom Kippur, we can say, Behold, the great day has come. We have fasted for it over the centuries. And until this day, we afflict our souls in prayer of repentance. Now has Hashem heard our voices. The blood of his many martyrs reaches to his nostrils, and now he inclines his ears to our cries. May he who brings Israel back to him be blessed, for truly he who scattered Israel will gather him and will keep him as a shepherd keeps his flock. Jeremiah 30, 10. On this day, see the reward of our work over the centuries. See him who comes from Eden in crimson garments from Basra. He who is splendid in his apparel, marching in the greatness of his strength. It is I speaking in righteousness, mighty to save. Why is your apparel red? and your garments like he who treads in the winepress. He answers, I have trodden the winepress alone, alone, and from the peoples no one was with me. I trod them in my anger and trampled them in my wrath. Their, their lifeblood spattered on my garments and stained all my apparel. For the day of vengeance was in my heart and my year of redemption has come, Isaiah 63, 1, 2, 4. The galloping of his white horse echoes Moses' song. The one sitting on it is called Faithful and True. In righteousness he judges and makes war. His eyes are like a flame of fire. On his head are many afflictions. That's Revelation 19, 11 through 16. On his head are many diadems, and he has a name written that no one knows but himself. He is clothed in a robe dipped in blood, and the name by which he is called is the Word of God. And the armies of heaven arrayed in fine linen, white and pure, were following him on white horses. From his mouth comes a sharp sword with which to strike down the nations. He will rule then with a rod of iron. He will tread the winepress of the fury of the wrath of God the Almighty. On his robe and on his thigh he has a name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. As Moses and all the prophets of Israel sang 
the deliverance of Israel, of its return to his land and to his God, let us foresee and rejoice of his mighty works, for truly Adonai has ransomed Jacob and has redeemed him from hands too strong for him. They shall come and sing aloud on the height of Zion. They shall be radiant over the goodness of Hashem, over the grain, the wine, and the oil, and over the young of the flock and of the herd. Their life shall be like a watered garden. They shall languish no more. Then shall the young women rejoice in the dance, and the young men and the old shall be merry. I will turn their mourning to joy. I will comfort them and give them gladness for sorrow. Jeremiah 31, 11 to 13. And this is a day we can all look forward to. Amen. Amen. Amen.